Hello everyone, my name is Rafal and welcome to my vlog. So in today's vlog, I just wanna talk a little bit about my recent photo shoot with the plastic bottles. I have posted a couple of images a few days ago and it seems like they got a lot of traction. There's a lot of you guys who really like this idea, but also there's a lot of you guys who are interested to give you a little bit more specific and share with you guys how I make this whole thing work. So this is what I wanna talk today. And before I jump into this topic, I just wanna say that I've done several tests before to figure this whole thing work. Um, it wasn't easy process, um, as I said before, even though this whole thing look simple, um, it takes a little bit of experiments to kind of figure it out what works and what doesn't. And I just wanna basically share all this stuff with you guys today. So let me start with the background itself. So as you guys probably notice, I use plastic bottles and I use uh, those particular ones um, as you guys probably noticed, they have specific shape and they also have this blue color. And this whole thing gave me two things. First, uh, the blue tone gave me, you guys probably noticed from those photos, really nice tone of the background. I didn't have to play with any of like the gels, changing the color in Photoshop. Uh, this whole thing was pretty much done right in the shot. And the second thing is was the shape of the bottles. As you guys probably noticed, those bottles, they're very kind of polished and they have really nice reflections. So whenever I push some light on them, they gave me this really um, interesting, as I said, reflection. And they, that's what create this very interesting pattern and very nice bokeh. So let me jump into the lighting because that was another um, important aspect to make this work. So let me start with the lighting for the subject. And I use as typical my clamshell lighting and I use my main light, which was the Deep Octa Elin Chrome 39 inches and and also I use uh, the kicker light to separate my uh, subject from the background and I use 27 inches deep octa from Elling Chrome and I use also additional light on the background itself so the light actually just was um, reflected off the background and that's what create this really nice uh, bokeh and very interesting pattern of the background. So there's one tip which I wanna share with you guys and that took me a little bit of time to figure it out. So the best results to get in order to make this work, you wanna keep the quite big distance between the subject and the background. So the more space you have between the background and the subject, the better results you're gonna get. So in my case, I have about three and a half to four meters space between the background and the subject. And that's what creates this very interesting pattern and very interesting um, bokeh on that image. So remember that because if you put the subject close to the background, those bottles are gonna be more visible and you're gonna get completely different pattern of the background. So as I said, the most important tip and the most important thing is just to make the distance between the subject and the background quite large. Um, I know sometimes we have to shoot in very small spaces, but in this particular case, uh, the more room you have, you're gonna get pretty much better results. So let me talk a little bit about how I put this whole thing together. So I basically use about 50 bottles, so it wasn't that many, and I pretty much just use the glue gun to stick them all together. This entire process took me about 20 minutes to half an hour, it wasn't that long. The glue gun works like a charm. You pretty much just put a little bit of glue on each bottle, stick them together, and they're gonna hold very, very nicely. The one thing what I wanna say, and this was like the biggest confusion, and a lot of you guys asking me about it, if those bottles were empty or they were full with water. So I have to drink the water, unfortunately, 
with my wife and we had this process going for about two weeks to collect all these bottles but I used empty bottles because they were much lighter so they pretty much hold together and I could pretty much just put them on the shelf and they could stick together and I could use them as a background so let me jump into the settings so again I'm using similar settings for most of my shoots so for my main light I had around 116 of the power for the kicker light I had 132 of the power and for the background I had 18 of the power and I have to push a little bit more power because as I said uh, the background was fairly far from the subject so in order to get um, this interesting pattern and get this interesting lighting I have to push a little bit more light and you have to play a little bit with the angle of the speed light just to kind of get this right so one tip what I would like to share with you guys just bring this light closer or further away from the um, background and basically do a little bit of test and do a little bit of experiment and see what is the, the best distance uh, between the background and the light to get this the most um, interesting effect you're looking for and in my case I had my speed light about meter meter and a half away from the background so it was pretty much in the middle uh, between the subject on the background as far as the equipment goes Again, um, I'm gonna just put the list so you guys can see exactly what I use. Um, everyone who is following me, you guys probably know I don't change equipment, I'm using the same thing. So I shot this with the Nikon D800. My lens was, again, typical 7200 VR2, plus my Nikon SB910 speed lights. So that was pretty much everything. I also use my 37 inches silver reflector to fill up the shadows of the model faces. So the shoot itself was quite fun. As I said, I had this whole thing figured out before, so that wasn't a problem. I know exactly where I'm going with this. So Monica from Glam and Beyond, she did again some very interesting and more edgy makeup and we got into the shoot, it was a lot of fun and um, we were playing with um, different poses, different face expression. We had this time two models so they could kind of alternate throughout the shoot and we could just kind of make this uh, much more uh, fun and yeah this entire thing was pretty much something really really uh, cool and we had all blast to make this shoot going okay so let's take a look at those images I hope you guys uh, like them I didn't do too much retouching when it comes to the background I used pretty much everything was off the camera I did a little bit of retouching when it comes to the uh, skin uh, that's what I always do and again a little bit of general cleaning a little bit of uh, dodge and burn and I've done a little bit of toning when it comes to the skin to bring some of those colors together and that was uh, pretty much it so again thank you for watching um, if you guys have any specific questions uh, please feel free to contact me I'll be more than happy to answer um, all your questions so I hope you guys are gonna be able to use this idea I highly recommend it it's a lot of fun and you guys can still create something very interesting the, the setup of the bottles I had was just the kind of one way you can do that uh, but you can definitely uh, put those bottles in the different configurations and create completely different background which is going to give you completely different bokeh and going to give you completely different pattern so feel free to have this idea as a kind of foundation for some different things what you can do um, there's still tons of stuff what you can do with this you guys can pick different type of bottles you can you guys can pick different colors of the bottles there's like the sky is the limit when it comes to this idea and I can assure you if you can kind of figure out the basics which I'm most of them I share with you guys you can definitely can create something very unique and very something very interesting and cool so I highly recommend it to use that because this is something which uh, definitely gonna bring you some amazing results okay thank you again for watching uh, I know I could just brag about it for hours I was so excited about it and I'm just also super happy that I can share with you guys those things with you guys so again please contact me for any specific question thank you for watching and um, I will chat with you guys shortly bye bye